Okay guys, let's go do some flintlock hunting. Hang around, see what we can do. Okay, first we're gonna load her, load her up. Uh, I'm gonna go 70 grains, straight black uh, Schutzen 4F powder, or 3F powder, and 4F in the pan. Uh, you can look back at some of my older videos on how to go about loading a muzzle loader, uh, but this time we are not going to be using a round ball. Let's see if I can get hold of one of these. We are using a sabot. It's a sleeve jacket, so you don't need a, a patch. And it's just like a uh, coppered bullet. So I'm going to get this loaded up and then I'll be back. Okay, guys. We're down by Shakeleyville. But I'm on where we hunted last time and I got a shot at that buck. It's on the other side of the lake. I'm going to hunt this area here. And then I'm going to go, you know, a couple, two, three hours. And then we'll head over there. Okay. I just came out of a gas well area, which is just right there. That You may see the opening. But I uh, worked my way in. Chucked a couple deer. They ran off that direction. But you can see that there's a very heavily used deer trail going up the other side, on the other side of that creek. So this is a, would be a pretty decent advantage point. Uh, I am going to plant my butt right there for a while. And uh, we'll wait and see what comes out. Man, it's so cold. I went to go take a pee earlier. Trying to pull two inches out of four inches of clothing. Don't work too good. Yeah. You know, I'm sitting there. Part of the ridge. 
come up the hill about three, four hundred yards or so, maybe, maybe further. But uh, the creek runs down probably 50 yards in front of me. It's a pretty good ravine. And uh, I decided I'm going to sit and take a break. I've been uh, munching on my pop type. Good little snack to take along with you. Don't leave the wrappers out, but people, leave it the way you found it. For some reason, my phone just quit recording. I'm hoping that they come up and around. Because uh, it, it's a downhill slope from here. The ravine over there. I'm going to sit and take a break. I can see the other side of the ravine. It's going to be a 100, 100 yard shot or so. But uh, I'm just going to hang out for a bit. It don't look cold out here. But uh, I bet you it's about 34, 35. Slight breeze. Uh, makes it a little chillier. And, uh, have you seen that uh, red squirrel? He came down the tree, probably t 10 yards from me. There he is. Let me see if I can zoom you in to him. Sitting on that branch. He's a big little bastard. That's one of the reasons why I love just getting out here, you know. Being out in nature. It don't matter if you get, if, you, if you're hunting or trapping or just going for a nature walk. You know, remember during the hunting seasons, if you're just out walking around hanging out in the woods. Have your orange on. I've been sitting there about 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a smoke. But uh, yeah, this little pack, my wife got me this. And, uh, it's a pretty cool uh, a power supply. I gotta before I drop it. Uh, put, it, put the cord away. You can unset both sides. Uh, flip it open. I got a mesh pocket down here. That's what I usually keep it in. But I was charging the, the camera. So we'll put that in there for now, just so I... And, uh, as you can see, little pocket. Got my little portable. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is a DP Whitney. It's a very small pipe. It might be, you know, as long as my palm. And uh, got my tobacco, little steel tin. And we'll uh, 
I'm only going to pack maybe half a bowl. Uh, then whenever I get home, I just dump this back out and do my airproof container, which I use mason jars. Just put a put it in the mason jar and crank it down tight. But uh, I'm smoking a cherry Cavendish. Very cherry Cavendish. Mm -hmm. mm. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not going to hang out here because it's freaking like 34 degrees, I tell you. They're saying the highest we're going to get is about 34, 35. And if you need a tamper while you're out muzzle loading, here I'll show you what I I've used in the past too. If I can get find it, it's down in there. That's a jag. That's for cleaning your and driving the the ball or slug home. I think I'm going to just give it a little blow, suck a couple times, brings it back. Ready. Well, I am going to get moving back toward the vehicle. It's getting to be about 2.30. This starts getting dark about 4.35 nowadays. But, uh, Come on down here to the edge of this ravine and uh, see if I can find a spot where I can cross. But it's freaking beautiful down in here. Well, I just came out of the woods. The car sitting right here in uh, Lake Wilhelm. It's just down there at that at the bottom there. Uh, so I'm going to drive around the lake a little bit. I'm checking ice conditions too. We're done for today. And the temperature is just dropping even more. It's down to 32 degrees since I've just taken a little drive around Lake Wilhelm, checking out my uh, fishing spots, seeing how well the ice is building. Uh, but hey, we're going to get back at it tomorrow. We're going to see if we can get this done. We only got the rest of the week to uh, put some venison in the freezer. So if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and not the finger. Click that subscribe button. You know where it is. It's right there. Click the bell notification beside it. That'll let you know whenever I drop a new video. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you, man. And as always, we will see you out there. Bye.